Are these resonant structures, and I just want you to label yes or no, Okay. what are you thinking? Um, let's see. I'd say yes. Why? Because the charge is still the same. The only thing that moved were the electrons, and they still have the same amount of bonds. They just pretty much like flip-flopped. Did electrons move? How do we know electrons moved? Because there's still the carbon with the three hydrogen bonded to that carbon, and then on this side, same thing. And then, oh wait. Circle what changed? So it would be this right here. Mm -hmm. Flipped with this right here. Right. So did the, and remember electrons are bonds really. Yeah. Right, those are, we can think of it as there's two electrons here technically. Mm -hmm. That's actually a bond. Right. What really moved? So actually it was the hydrogen and the carbon. So what would it be no then? It'd be because no. Because no, they like changed the whole formula then. Exactly. Okay. Your clue here. Oh yeah, electrons move, atoms do not. Atoms do not move. Oh right, okay. And these are atoms, the hydrogen, this CH3. Okay, yeah. And then your electrons are represented with the bonds here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So that yes, that's that gonna sense. keep coming up. Oh, tricky. So no. Okay. Let's do another one. Let's try that one. Let's see. The charge. I'd say yes and yes. And why? So same thing. The charges stayed the same. No atoms moved, just the electrons. So this four, there's a four here. But then since there's not, there's a charge on this one. But on this one, there wasn't. Now it's completed. Good. Yeah. And you're saying four bonds, correct? Four bonds, yeah. Yes. Four bonds. Good. That is correct. Yeah. OK, good. We can also look at it as something like this, mm -hmm. where we're going to see a carbocation. This is going to be something that's commonly said all right. throughout organic chemistry. And then a carbanion mm -hmm. just means negative charge. Right, right. So knowing the differences here is going to be super important because we can then see that this is a carbocation. Mm -hmm. It has three bonds, no lone pair. Mm -hmm. And I know that, OK, it will have a positive charge. And the other thing to note here, and actually I'm just going to draw it out is showing that none of these hydrogens moved. I know that there are, we can't, don't actually see the hydrogens, right, right? Right, But in this case, I can see, okay, well, this has only three bonds. Mm -hmm. There's one, two, there is a hydrogen here. And then if I look here, I know, okay, well, if I actually want to look here just to make sure that there is just one hydrogen there. Mm -hmm. There's two bonds, a bond here. This requires one more, as you said, the four. Mm -hmm. So great, that didn't change. Same concept again for now if I'm looking here and here. Here, I already have three bonds. I don't have a hydrogen that's necessary because again, it's a carbocation. Mm -hmm. Here, again, I don't need that. This has four bonds. That checks out. There's no hydrogen, no hydrogen. Okay. And we can keep working our way throughout here. This has a hydrogen. This also has one hydrogen. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. Same thing at this end. And same thing here and here. That makes sense. Okay. So yes, that's another way to check, is to actually draw in the hydrogens. And do the math. See okay. if anything changed. Yep. Okay. Perfect. So if you like this practice problem and want to try another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire study session, click right here.